Hello everyone, Teacher Gaming here. Welcome back to another video. Guild War Another Season is underway and let's talk about the new things added. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. Impurity shall be your armor. Hate shall be your weapon. Immortality shall be your reward. So here we have one of the new things that has been added. That is the Warp Rift. It's a very new thing. And it gives a source buff. Thin Veil. And Thin Veil is kind of interesting, because Psycho characters deal plus 20% more damage when they are defeated, summon a random demon that has the same level as the defeated Psycho, and is enemy to both attacker and defender. Global buff, this buff applies to all zones until this zone is destroyed. So, yeah, this is really interesting, because it's a global buff that Psychers deal more damage, and also that... They summon demons on both sides, but especially the Psyker for 20 damage, 20% extra damage is quite big. So this should be really interesting to play around with. Another thing that has been changed is the Medicaid station, which are now two locations instead of one. And instead of granting you 60% HP global buff, it now has 25% from each of them for a total of 50. So this is really good. Also because the defenders could be somehow a little bit hard to kill. And we in DK crew especially advise some of our um, members who were mostly clean up squads. Especially AI or who couldn't pitch in with 10 fully squads against players. But could still pitch in to say hold them until the Medicaid is taken out uh, to get your maximum value to get your uh, guild war uh, tokens and be more effective overall which is really important in guild war we won our last war by 4000 points so that is basically not even a station it's not even half of a location it is roughly 13 characters dying more on one location than anything else so that was really close so now medicaid stations are a little bit more flexible that you can guard one Maybe not guard two. Do you still want to play for both? It's really interesting. I feel that you should definitely see if you can take both out as soon as possible. But this might make some move their Medicaid stations a little bit more forward. Because they feel, you know, this is okay. We can lose 25% health instead of losing 60%. Because in the past uh, seasons, I would definitely say Medicaid was the one you needed to guard more than HQ. Because the 60% HP buff everywhere is pretty massive. So there is that. Also there is another thing that is going on. And that is you have added this down here. Which is really really interesting. That you have this activity. You can also check the last war. Um, on top of the enlisted already. So this is really awesome. You can check it guild enemy. Like again I think this is absolutely amazing. That this has been added. It just screams really efficient and clear communication it is really good for guilds that you can talk you can see who does what who claims it etc now i don't mind showing this because we can see the battlefield and you can see where people have claimed but you don't know where they are actually located and then we can see here last word this is really interesting as you can see here they were basically in front and then this is what we did so big shout out to polar eyes and also sentry, like do not forget 200 points, it all mattered. But yeah, this was basically the war decided by, you could say, these four attacks. If we had to remove one of them, yeah, you can see here it was really good. The fact that uh, DD, like he really made a last push again with Perlos, so it was amazing. And we just ended up etching them out. So that was really great. Now, at the moment, we have our event running i have been going on a little bit the last couple of days um decided to push through because i was actually falling a little bit behind now when you have to kill the 100 uh, raid battles the um, locations or it's not really 100 raid battles it's 100 locations i would definitely advise you even though it might not be efficient for your farming i would advise you go in here and just clean like this because one um buying of energy like here 50 so that's 10 then you can buy the 50 and the 110 and each of them gives you well gives you more than 100 so basically you can just go in and say 
okay at least that's 20 that's 40 so you can just if you really wanted to do hard and hopefully you are past that but there's also the final mission at the end like where you still have to complete battles i would go and do something like this and just make sure that you get the things that you need and then you can always go back to a little bit more efficient farming down the line of course there's the passive energy as well so i would definitely suggest when you have to do that get it in here get it done in all new character releases where you have the 20 missions that you have to go up and you have to kill 100 uh, of any battle like go down to the five cost they're just so way more efficient now we won our first war in guild war how did you fare let me know in the comment down below i'll see you all in the next video